Hey everybody, Sarah here. So coming at you today with an answer to a question that a lot of advisors are asking me about. Um, someone actually wrote this into me. Being an advisor can be a very interesting, fun and lucrative career. Why is it so difficult to find talent in this sphere? I've heard so many growing firms say there just aren't enough people out there who want to build a career in this field. Why not? Uh, okay, so I'm going to address that question first. Um, the reason is that at the end of the day, being a financial advisor is very entrepreneurial. However, in today's day and age, the way that people like me who are in their 40s or people who are in their 30s or 20s are used to communicating and used to getting in touch with people is through the internet. But yet, that's something that is a major roadblock in many firms. For example, at Merrill Lynch, I've heard that you can't even send an instant message through LinkedIn. So if I'm used to messaging and Facebook and LinkedIn and not so big on the steak dinner seminar at Morton Steakhouse as a way to find clients, now there's this roadblock. So that's the first thing is that the method of prospecting is, it's hard, okay? Um, prospecting is hard, but it's also hard when you have a digitally enabled, digitally savvy population that wants to communicate that way and they can't. So it's almost like you're being forced to speak in a different language. And that's very awkward for a lot of people. The other thing is that I think that when you are in your 20s and 30s and even, even to someone in your 40s, I think when you get in your 40s, it begins to be like you can speak and relate to people that are in their 50s, 60s, and 70s. But I just know for me that when I was a younger advisor, it was very hard for me to speak with people that were in their 60s and 70s and have them look at me and really take me seriously. A lot of times if I had a relationship with one of their children, then that was how I kind of got in. But to go direct and to get the retirees and the pre-retirees, the ones with the million dollar portfolios, it wasn't that easy. So, um, I just would say that it's it's extremely entrepreneurial. At the end of the day, the field is numbers driven and it's just not that easy for people that, you know, maybe don't have access to a retired population, but that want to build a business. Because if you're building through, you know, $100,000, $200,000 of wealth, if you think about that, you're, you seemingly are going to have to work four to five times as hard, you know, just to get enough assets under management. Now, the way that firms can help millennials and Gen Xers like me to succeed in these roles is to offer different ways that advisors can get compensated. And so this is something that is, I think, a very interesting topic, the different ways that advisors are getting paid nowadays. And it's something I think we should really all pay attention to. So some advisors are still getting paid through their traditional either commission or fees for asset or management. But like I was saying, it's really not that helpful if you're calling on smaller portfolios because there's only so many assets you can't trade them too much or you're churning so there goes your commissions and on an AUM perspective like I mean you know if someone has a hundred thousand dollars you're going to take one percent of it right like that's that's kind of a lot of money for someone with that amount of net worth so fees for assets under management model doesn't work offer advisors different ways that they can get paid whether it be you can get paid for doing webinars and attracting people and charging them 25 bucks to, to be on this webinar. We'll give you a cut of that or, you know, your, whatever you can keep all of it. Right. Um, you can do a subscription service where people can get advice from you in either video blog format, you know, uh, free, you know, a 20 minute conference call once a month. And, uh, you know, there's like membership services. That really is the way that a lot of millennials and Gen Xers are buying things nowadays. Like, you know, there's these, um, you know, like Birch, uh, the, you know, like I think Birch is that service where they send you like a box every month or something like that. So, you know, in exchange for a monthly fee, providing something of value that isn't necessarily investment based or, um, you know, market driven, right? Providing, providing information to people for a fee and having advisors be able to get paid that way. The other thing is the flat fee model is very popular because it enables advisors to get paid for the advice that they give, but yet they're not penalized for working with those smaller portfolios. And if they're doing a great job, then they can still earn enough money to make a living, but then not have to worry about what if someone wants to uh, pay off student debt, 
should I encourage them not to do that just so that I can keep that asset in my assets under management? Which certainly, I mean, is a bias that you would have if you're getting paid a fee for assets under management, just naturally it would be. So this is a great question. I love this question. How do you support the Gen Xers and the millennials in your firm if you want to encourage that young talent? There's lots of it out there, but like I said, the roadblocks are so heavy. Get the social media up and running. Work with your compliance to make sure that compliance, I mean, I've worked with compliance officers before that don't understand how social media works. So, and they don't have a social media account or use it. So it's like, and you're going to be like the person between me and the FINRA board. You know what I mean? Like you're supposed to be the person protecting me from FINRA arbitration. Scary. Um, make sure that your firm is digitally ready and socially savvy and ready to accommodate these millennials and Gen Xers, first of all. Second of all, offer advisors different ways that they can get paid. Those are my advice. That's my advice if you want to generate... Um, a successful program or a way of being for younger advisors and nurture that talent at your firm. Thanks everybody for watching. Sarah Grillo here. Hope you'll stay tuned for the next video and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.